British forces have surrounded the Americans in Fort Stanwix. A relief column is marching to their aid, but the British and their Mohawk allies have set an ambush. Will the Americans win through and lift the siege? So this is the first time playing this for me. It's got some unique features. I suppose, first of all, deployment. You're overstacked in Fort Stanwix, so you have to make some choices, don't you? Yeah. And then your garrison artillery, you have a choice whether to keep it intact like that or break it up into a wander and a tour. That is a big deal. And the opening setup, I think it says. During the American Open, the garrison artillery can be broken down into two poison counters. So you have some choices to make there. Yeah, and there's a lot to consider about that. One are the the retreat rules and the disruption rules. So I'm looking through them really closely, and what it says is that you can ignore a disrupt in Stanwix if you're stacked with another unit. So I have to have basically the one with the five in there, otherwise he can get deed right out of there. In uh, uh, Rule 4.32, I'm looking at dot number 245. It says, units inside Fort Sandwich may ignore retreat results, but and they may disrupt or shatter in place if there is at least one disrupted non-artillery combat unit also in the hex. So you have to. Because what if you get deed? Then all of a sudden you're, you're going like this. One, two, three, and you're leaving the whole thing open, you know? Yeah. So you have to have the one unit and the five unit in sandwich in order to avoid that rule. Right. So it's got to be like that. In addition to that, you have to have the leader in there, of course. So the artillery unit, as I'm looking at it, if you break it down, you get three steps as opposed to two. Okay. So you're almost bound and determined to go like that and like that as your setup. Oh, let me run through this. I'm looking at the deployment again. Make sure I did everything. The ninth, third, Oneida, and place four sense. Okay. The Oneida Indian are placed with any unit. Okay. So I have to determine that before you do yours also. Yeah, he's in the lower right. Now, he's the only guy you can move, right? Only him. He, the Oneida can be are placed with any unit. So, the rest of the dudes have setup hexes. You and I went through the little exercise with the movement and it had an earlier time. Yeah. What do the rules say about it? They say when using regular movement, all units must move their full movement allowance along the road without leaving hex gaps between units. Also, there's a note, strategic movement is not allowed prior to the ambush. So you're using the regular movement rate, not the road rate. Mm -hmm. But you have to move your full allowance, but not leave any gaps. Well, then you're, you're constrained to, to the rate of movement of the slowest unit, in my opinion. Yes. So uh, maybe in the first turn you can, you can string them out, right? Because the... The Oneida Indians have a five movement rate, so they can get ahead as long as everyone else can yeah. keep up with them. And I don't like the idea of that at all. That's my point. Because they what will end up happening is when they go four, one, two, three, four, this guy will go one, two, three, four, five, and they'll be sitting out there like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. And then just to just to close the loop, the HRC movement. All units must move six hexes along the road. Oh, here's an obvious thing, is to move our leaders six and the other guys four, because that's their maximum movement. Because if we moved everybody their maximum movement, the leaders would be out in front riding their horses. I, I don't think the spirit of the rule is meant to have the leaders out yes. in front and getting whacked. We're applying that rule to the, to the Oneida, though. They have to go out in front and get their butts whipped. So if you're using regular movement on turn one, and the Oneidas go one, two, three, four, five, so Herkimer would have to go here. 
And then one, two, three, four. Okay, you're already strung out. You've got Herkimer in the front with the, the Oneida Indians. That doesn't seem right to me. I'll be ambushed like that. I won't be ambushed like that, too. I have one dude with my leader. Up. Well, as far as the generals go, Herkimer must stay at the head. It says all units. Are generals units or not? On 2.2, it says unit and leaders. Okay, so... Uh, after all that, you have to decide how to set up your guys. Okay, so give me the final word on the. Give me a final word on Oneida and the movement of these guys in the column. Well, the Oneida March five. Mm-hmm. Their unit, so Herkimer has to be with them, right? He has to be at the head of the column. Yes, maybe that's the way it was intended. Okay, okay. so you have to deploy your relief column. Um, let's see. Let's we'll put them there. Why not? So okay. I see you have the zones indicated. Right. So the first zone is the attack in echelon square. It's only one square. Then the frontal assault squares are zone two. The commit reserve uh, hexes are zone three. And the stand fast is zone four. It's only one hex. So for the benefit of the three people that are watching this. <laughs> uh, no, wait, we've got four subscribers. So the four people that are uh, watching this. Uh, I've just flashed my ambush hex, and with my mouse, I will point at it. Okay, there you go. Mm. That's it. Hopefully you didn't see that. No, I didn't see anything over here. (laughs) Okay. So. (laughs) (laughs) Well, the main objectives, if you will, are, let's see. I just want to make sure we get that. We either have, you know, the decisive, that's... uh, capturing the, the, the Continentals capture the light infantry encampment, and their supply wagons have not been looted. British decisive. Oh, I went right over that. How about that? You, you oh my goodness. You got to take Fort Stanwix. That can know, happen. That's, that's a tall order. Well, you know, you can get a couple of those nine nines, and then all of a sudden, you know. Although I'm not going to count on that. I wouldn't count on that. Um, so a substantial is, uh, uh, of course, the uh, army morale. Uh, marginal. The American player wins a marginal victory by having one half or more VPs than the British. I have to have more. Yeah, half a point more. Okay, uh, shall I start moving? Uh, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, well, I'm going to move the eighth foot over there. One, two, three, to the headquarters. I'll move the... Indians and the cannon over one like that. So Cedar Swamp, I, it costs two movement to go through. So I'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. All right, I guess that'll be my movement. Defensive artillery fire for you. Okay, let's uh, try that at the six pound battery. Okay. With the garrison artillery. So you're shooting two, and you're three away. So that's an eight, plus one for shooting against artillery, and minus one for the breastworks. So it's an eight, right? Eight sounds right. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, First shot. Here we go. Okay. The next one will be... Well, we can go this direction, I suppose. Who's the target? You can target the cohorn, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think we're going to do that. The Cohorn may be targeted by enemy fire combat. Cohorn is otherwise treated as an artillery unit. So it's one firing nine, plus one for artillery, minus one for the uh, siege works, I think. So it's a nine. Okay, ready? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Flip the marker over. American turn one. Mm, 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 mm. And it's your movement phase. I have to decide whether I'm going to go which direction with the movement, right? Yeah, with what type of movement, yeah. Yeah. They're going to go relief column, and that's just six hexes for everyone. No splitting up anything, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do... We are right at movement, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to move them six up, right? Six six hexes. I'll just move them with stacks. Yeah. One, two, three... Four, five, wait, six. Okay. 
Uh, now I think it triggers it right away by rules, right? The ambush? Yeah. yeah if it's but, there. But, uh, it's not there. Okay. So then the other guys just follow up. I don't think it, I don't know why it would matter, but that's, I think the order sequence of play says that. Sequence of ambush, if you will. Okay. Alrighty. And then we got anybody in here that would like to move well. That's probably a bad idea. You don't want to take a stroll? You know... The river is beautiful this time of year. Uh, no, we're not going to have a go of it, and uh, that'd be good. You can fire your gun, so yeah. Yeah, let's see if my cannons have anything to say. I think I don't count the mortar for purposes of strength points. One, two, three, four. I can't, I can't shoot four away. It's only three away. So I have to shoot at the fort. Might as well combine everything into one go. So it's three strength points shooting at Fort Stanwix. So I need a seven, but there's a minus two because of the fort. So that would be a nine. And that depends who I'm going against. Well, let's go against the third New York. So I need a nine, right? The third New York, a nine. Yeah. Okay, here goes. Three. No oh, good. All right. Anything else? Uh, my dude's barely flinched on that one, quite frankly. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so next turn, right? Uh, yes. All right. St. Le- uh, Saint Ledger. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, the Cayuga will go one in the swamp like that. Okay, that's my movement. Artillery? Yeah. Well, this time we might have to do something. So he'll fire at the cohorn, the light battery. Which one? Oh, the light battery is doing it. Yeah, that one right there. Yeah, yeah. So a nine plus one minus one? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. No. No. So the other one, the other shot with the deuce. I I pretty much have to go after the six pounder. He needs a eight, nine, I think, on that one, maybe? Yeah, plus one, minus one. He needs an eight. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. No. no. Okay. All that, all that and get nothing. Mm. So now it's your movement. Well, Fort Stanwyck shoes will remain in place. Okay. So Herkimer, that leaves... Yeah. yeah. Herkimer's going to have to do relief column movement. Move him up six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're good. Move them all up. Actually, I thought, I thought maybe you might try to force him into that swamp. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which, you know, well, who knows? Okay. Right on. That's the thing about it. Okay. Very good. Oh, okay. Now I get to shoot at you. I think I'll just do the same thing I did last time. Three. Let's see. Let's get the chart open. Uh, three points against... The third New York. I mean, I can go after the garrison artillery, but the mortar only works against non-artillery, so I'm not using it unless I fire at your units. And shooting at the the Oneida militia is just as hard as shooting at the third New York, so I might as well shoot at the third New York. I need a nine to hit. Okay. Okay, here goes. Here goes a nine. A one. No. Okay. Too far away. Okay. So that was your movement. Uh, Now we advance the turn track, right? They yell a few insults and they go take the cannonballs. You know how they used to take them and then grab them and take them for themselves. <laughs> Use them and they shoot them against you. Shoot them back, yeah. Yes. It reminds me of uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Yes. We, we, we fart in your general direction. <laughs> yes, right. Okay, here goes. Well, this may be a quick battle. Who knows? Mm. But St. Leisure, he can use all this movement to cross the river, right? Like that. Yeah. And the Indians, they can cross and go like this. So then the light infantry can go with like that with St. Ledger. And the Indians can combine with St. Ledger like that. And this guy can go like that. I think we'll just stay like that for, for the moment. That's my movement done. You okay. may fire. Okay, so light battery will 
will take on your Grenadiers. Okay, yeah. One at adjacent. Just okay. a plane seven, yeah. Okay, ready? Okay, yeah. No. Oh. How about that? Two, two. two against the light. Eight, so it would be a nine, right? Okay. Ready? Yeah. No. All right. Okay. Close combat. So you defend at two. How much do I have here? I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight to two is four to one. All right. So let's. Uh, I'm going to go from the top. Uh, lead unit is a plus two. The next guy is the leader. That's a plus one. Your lead unit is a plus one. So that's a minus to me. So I'm attacking across a fortified hex. Is that is that what it is? I would say yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I don't see anything else. So it's a four to one plus one then. We got chips. Chips, right? Okay. I'll try this one. Attack an echelon. Okay. Minus one. Okay, four to one even. Uh, four to one even. Oh boy, anything can happen there. Okay, here goes. Three. We both retreat. Defender first. I think he's eliminated. Yeah. I think he's captured, right? Not eliminated, yeah? Yeah, captured, sure. So the other guy's got a roll, yeah? Yeah, the other guy's got a roll. Oh. He probably goes back with the other thing. Well, he can, yeah, I think he can retreat. I think he can go in there. Well, let's, let's double check. Yeah, right, right, right. Rule 5.4, maybe. It occurs during movement phase, so probably not. I, that's how I would read it. Okay, fine. Let's see. We'll do that. There. However, I also have to retreat. Oh, it's the lead unit has to retreat, right? So my lead unit was the Grenadiers, which I will move back. And then the other ones will roll. I'll start with the Huron on top. Uh, no, they retreat. The Abenaki, he stays, even with the minus one. Yeah, okay, the Seneca stays. The Light Infantry stays. The Cayuga stays. That would be close combat done. Your turn. Okay. Okay, bottom of turn three. Are, are you going to sortie? No, they're just going to sit there and wait on these guys. And these guys are going to uh, do the Herkimer relief. They're going to move up. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and six. You're okay. Okay, we'll throw all the rest of these guys in line. Trying to get up there. I guess I, uh, it's my turn to shoot at you, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Same as before. Mm -hmm. I need a nine. Shooting at the same guy as before, mm -hmm. the third New York. All right. Ready? Let's see if they can do it. Yep. Here. Eight. Ooh. So close. All right. So then my turn, right? Yes. They're getting closer. Getting closer. The relief column is, is, is on its way. All right, uh, over by British headquarters, the eighth foot. Is that one, two like that? Um, I think so, yeah. Down the hill. One, two, three, and then four is over there. Uh, the Apenaki are going to back up. The Huron will join them. St. Leisure will go one, two, three, four. The Cayuga will join up like that. Uh, all right, that's movement on cannons. All right. Two at two. Two at two. Okay, so it's an eight, right? Okay. Ready? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Turn four. Well, those guys are going to sit where they are, and the uh, column will move Herkimer. They'll move six. Okay. okay, ready? Yeah. And one, two, three, four, five. And Stop. Right there. Wait a minute. Hold on. The ambush hex is 4412. Which one is that? Uh, oh, that's back a couple. That's so good. Right there at the top of the hill like that. Okay. So you have to stop there because okay. my guys are in 4412. Yours has to stop just before that. Okay. Right. Like okay. that. Okay. 
we'll okay. remove that thing there. Uh, Joseph Brand has to be there. So does Colonel Johnson. Let's see what the rule yeah. says. The moment the first American unit moves into the pre-designated blocking hex, I announce the ambush is triggered and reveals his previously written note. That American unit must stop in the road immediately preceding the blocking hex. This is the ambush hex. And it must conform to one of the four ambush zones. I think you're in zone three. Ambushing units are simply picked up from the undestroyed British player encampment hexes and Indian camps. Okay, the ones that I want to use are these guys and all the Mohawk, right? Because I have to have more Mohawk than not. So basically, I, I think I could just sort of pick them as I wish. So for example, I can put this one here and I can put one light unit here. So that's four points, four to two. I can put my rifle here. Hmm, hold on, let me think about this. Okay, I, that's a legal formation, right? Yeah. Okay, ambush resolution. Once all the units are placed, the British player rolls on the ambush success table. So I'm in zone three. I'm going to roll a two. Not good. I lose one morale. One of my stacks does not get an ambush marker. So I think what you do is you put the ambush markers on your dudes and then remove one, right? Okay, so then the way it would be is it would be like the, the ambush markers would be like this. Yeah. And then I have to remove one of them. The remaining ambush markers may now fire a 1 SP rifle shot. Yes. I get it. So if I take the ambush marker off the Jaeger, I don't get the ambush fire with the Jaeger, but I do get the rifle shot. Okay, so essentially I've got all my shots. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is... The three hexes that have ambush markers on them, I'm going to combine them. So that's three SPs shooting adjacent. I'm going to shoot at company A. So I need a, a four to hit, but then it's a, you're in the woods, so I need a five to hit. And that's it. Okay. Here goes. A one. Not good enough. The rifle unit is going to use first fire. I get two shots at this, right? It's covered terrain and you have a flank open. So it's adjacent. I need a seven, but you're in the woods, so it's an eight, but it's first fire, so it's seven. Okay, I'm going to roll twice. One, two. No. No hits. Now it's close combat. So for the first is against the, the Herkimer stack. So it's Butler's Rangers and the Mohawk next to the rifle. So it's mm -hmm. four. Four to two. two. Two to one. Four to two. Two to one. Okay. Let's go down, down the list. My lead unit will be Butler's Ranger, so that's plus one. Are these militia or not? Mine are. All defending militia, that's plus one to me. So plus one for the ambush, and plus one for uh, the HRC movement. Okay, your adjusted morale is zero, and your leader is one. So I have it as two to one plus three. Okay. And then tactics. I'll try this. I'll try this one. Okay. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and turn your flank. Uh, frontal. Plus one to me. I figured at that point it didn't matter. So two to one plus four. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Two to one plus four. Seven plus four is eleven. AC, what does that mean? That means you can choose which guy you want to capture. Well, I guess I'll capture A Company. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I do get a momentum thing. I'm not going to forget it this time. I have to make a morale check. If I pass, I have to uh, retreat one. If I fail, I'm D. Ready? Yeah. Uh, he has to retreat one. Oh, you can't go into an enemy ZOC. He has to go north, then. Even if units are there, he has to, he has to go north. Okay, he has to go north, okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, I think you have to go in there with your, at least your lead guy. Okay, yeah. Well, let's do it. And I suppose I can bring the other guy in too. Like that. Okay, let's do the next one. Mm. I think this one's one to one. I'll lead with A. 
Okay. I'm leading with uh, the zero morale Mohawk. So that's nothing for him, but I get plus one for, for Joseph Brandt. Plus one for the ambush. Plus one for the way you were moving. Your lead unit is zero morale. You've got no leader. So then one to one plus three. And then okay. chits. All right. We'll try and refuse flank. I have the same. Okay. One to one plus three with a possible reroll. Here goes. Okay. Nine. Oh, that's not good. No leader casualty, but you do lose another guy, and I get another momentum. Okay, so morale check for the uh, Oneida? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Seven. He stays. Next one, underneath. Eight. He stays. Underneath. Six. So they all stay, right? Yeah. That's close combat done. Well, let's make sure the uh, turn's finished here right quick. It says, uh, resume American turn, begin with rally phase. I don't have any uh, non-ambush units only. I don't have anything like that, right? You still have defensive artillery. Oh, yeah, I do. Do we have regular close combat to also? Yes. Oh, I get. To, I have to fight you again. With me as the attacker? Yeah, resume the American player turn, beginning with the rally phase. Oh, my God, that means you have to fight me. The rally phase, then defensive, then rifle, then close combat. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. So I got no rally, but you got guns on me. You got cannons. I do. Well, let's let's take the guns uh, against you. Same as always, uh, the third New York. Okay. Okay, it's I need a nine, basically. Okay, here goes three. No good. So that's defensive artillery. Now it's close combat. Holy crap, I got a close combat. Probably add both those units to do a diversion against Joseph Brandt, I figure, but let's just make sure. So I have one, two, three, four against one, two, three, four. At least that's a one to one. But then it shifts back to a one to two. So we could have a lead unit of probably how about trying county B. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm going to go from top to bottom. So mm -hmm. the lead unit is zero, right? Yeah. Herkimer is one. My my leader is Colonel, so that's nothing for him. Uh, my leader, though, is Butler's Rangers plus one. Okay. All right. So one to two even. And chits. chits. All right. I'll try this. I will try. Uh, oh, yeah. Here we go. That one. Okay. What are you doing? Turn. Attack in echelon, plus one to you. Okay, I'll take it. Ready? Yeah. Ah, no. You're D. You can go through your own guys, can you? Like that yeah. one. Yeah. Two, three. Yeah. Let's roll for the Oneida. I think they have to roll or retreat one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Five. Well, they're going to retreat one. Like that, right? Okay. The try on A, a five. Stays. And how about Herkimer? A deuce. You got to go one, right? Yeah. But he's got to stay away from your guys, so there. Okay, they managed to keep their morale. Just barely. Yeah. Okay, is that the end of your turn? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. I'm sure. I think it might be. Uh, yeah. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Our next video presents the conclusion of the Battle of Oriskany.